Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. My day is going pretty well. Um, I just want to point this shirt out before we start. You may have noticed it on the last video. It's not that I haven't changed my shirt in a couple of days. It's I'm doing a few intros back to back and I don't want you to think I'm really minging <laughs> just keeping the same shirt on. But the special thing about this shirt is it was actually a piece of art designed by Special K. And if you're interested, you can get it on Amazon. Just search for Kerry Itchen Art and this will pop up or a link to a, a designs will pop up. Anyway, what have I been doing? I've been painting in Rebel 4. I've been using the pastels. I quite, I'm sort of messing about using pastels in all the different apps and uh, seeing which one I really like. And they, you know what? They're all... They're all good. They are all really good. You can't go wrong with any of them, whether you're using Krita, um, Art Rage, Rebel, any of the apps. Uh, although somebody's uh, saying in one of the comments the other day that there's not very many good pastels in um, Procreate. So I'm going to have to have a little look at that, maybe even make some brushes for you. But anyway, this is what I've been doing in Rebel 4. Let's just get uh, into the video and see how I went on. Fancy having a go at this scene, at this rocky path. Uh, again, this is um, B. Knill in Leicestershire. Painted it a few times. And I want to do it in pastels, but in Rebel. I normally go for um, pastels in Critter because they are just so good so good but today i am feeling let's just let's just go for it i've i've set up a, a paper which is um hot pressed because it hasn't got too much texture on it and i've set the color to this sort of dusty pink color um and i'm just sort of getting in some darks I have, I have used the pastels in um, Rebel before. Do I try this one? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's that's nice because it gives you a bit more of a a less sort of square generic shape. I can do big bold strokes with it. Oh, nice bit of blending going off there. And I'm sort of using really dark colors just to um, just to set the scene a bit. was this uh, photo was taken in the autumn so obviously I'm going to go with some nice autumn colors some oranges quite a big palette Got this beautiful lime green path I'm getting here I don't know what all the brushes do. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm just sort of um, feeling my way with it. This is like using the Terry Ludwig pastels. Just getting it. It's got this sort of dark set, which are great. All of them just expect me a reference image a bit smaller so I can make this one a bit bigger you'll notice you'll see special K in the painting there uh, as, as ever 
but um, I don't in the photo sorry I don't know if I'm actually gonna include her in the painting of this one um, I, might, I, I like the sort of barrenness of the land really the sort of uh, solitude that I love I love beginning pastels. If I'm working now with traditional media, I'm going to be working with pastels. I just love them. I've sort of not painted an oil painting for such a long time, uh, or watercolors. Literally, well, I've done a couple, but I haven't done any real watercolor work for years. Um, and I just paint a lot. Of uh, pastel stuff, and I love the the way you can start off abstract, uh, and then and then just uh, work on it and work on it, and add bits of detail. And if you're using quality papers, um, you can get lots of layers on. So I, I know uh, some people think that if you're doing pastels digitally you you get away with a lot because you can just keep over painting and over painting and you don't lose the grain the paper and you can just keep adding more colors whereas if you're doing with real pastels of course uh, you can clog the paper and get in a world of hell so that's unfortunate <laughs> that is unfortunate but with the expensive papers of course you can put a lot of color on before you actually get to the point where you are in a world of hell and good management uh, you won't really let's, let's do that's kind of squiggly random squiggly line thing like that working around and in some uh, forever sort of um, dabbling with the thickness of the brush when I'm doing pastels because I don't want them all to be the same thickness I want to vary it a little bit I think I need to get the sky in now to give myself some um, idea of tone Looking a little bit blocky. Be careful. Not what I really want.
Whoops. Yeah, this this is the first brush, the round soft. That's nice for doing those edges because it just felt a little bit too square. Yeah, that's shaping up nice. I'm liking that. So you see what I'm doing? I'm sort of swapping between painting um, the bushes and then jumping in and doing negative shapes on the grass around the bushes and then flicking back again. Could even uh, twig that brush, make it small. Flick a few inches in there. Oh, I've got to keep swapping between the brushes. This rectangle gives you a nice soft effect. Uh, triangle, sorry. I'm on about rectangle. And you can do a little bit of blending with it. Yeah, that's nice. Sort of blend that into there. And then when I get to the edges, jump back to the round brush. A bit of foliage in that. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking the colours I'm using. I'm liking this nice bright green in the foreground. I don't like those two lines though, let's just undo them. So you can't do that, can you, when you're doing proper proper it's all proper, isn't it? Uh, traditional, let's let's call it traditional. Traditional pastels. I think you know with all of these digital apps whatever you're using it's just a matter of working out what the brushes do and then um going with that to be honest 
and once you've got that sorted, it comes together. I'm not saying it's easy, but it, it comes together and it does does it does make it a lot easier. Easier because that's sort of um, subjective, isn't it? I, I don't want to, you know, it's too like that. I don't want to put people off. Pastels seem to give me a freedom that I don't get with other mediums. I just feel that I can get so loose uh, that I just can't do it with, say, um, oil paint. Digital. I'm talking about digital painting now when I'm saying pastels or um, whatever. I, I I really just don't seem to get that freedom that I can get. I'm trying to get a sort of this idea of rocks in that foreground like that. Um, yeah, I get a freedom with uh, pastels that they just. And I think it's the fact that you're using really vibrant colours. I know you can use really vibrant colours in oils, and but they tend to um, blend together. And that doesn't happen so much with the pastels. You get the colour on, and there's less blending. And I'm definitely not about the blending. Uh, I, I'm painter that likes to see every mark and I make a mark it's there for a reason and I, I don't want it to sort of disappear so yeah I think that's looking quite like rocks now let's get some dogs Probably that lining brush might be the one to use here. When I say lining brush, it's called uh, thin soft. Cool. I could flick to the uh, triangle, just off a few of the edges of that. Blur it a bit. I could, I'm, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even using the blending options of these brushes, am I? That's, that's what I should be doing as well. When I said, and, and a minute ago, I said, uh, you know, the oil paint blends, but it, it's a forced blend. You put the paint on and it blends it automatic. But with this, you choose where you want to blend it. Forgotten for a second about those options there. 
so I can now um, soften these trees up beautifully. Now, I need some bracken in just to, uh, I think, give it a bit more context. But in the meantime, I just want to add a little bit of yellow blended in that path in the foreground. It's a little, a little marks of stones and things. Right, I think Brett ready brown. It just has some context to it. Whereas without those, it, it appears much more abstract, I think. Get some contrasting tones here. Like that. Do I do the little marks? See why not? Oh, this, I like this lining brush now. Now I've discovered what it's really for. Um, use that as a blender. Just soften that down a bit. I There we are. And I think maybe wrong brush. This one and colour. Felt that was a bit uh... there. There we go. Do I need a darker green? Swept in there just to break that path up a bit. I 
think I could actually go with a sort of a real pale pale green. Just just in there. Hmm. I think that this might be a bit better, and then just bring that sort of sweeping a few of those in like that. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. takes that path in there and I think I think I've got it I think that's it where do you stop um I love it. I, I'm, I've used uh, the um, Rebel pastels, I think, once before. So the second time coming to them, and I'm not really sort of trying them out now. I'm, I'm using them without really judging them. And I think they're great. I think they're great. I think everything this new version of rebel is just just excellent i haven't found anything in it i don't really like just fiddling aren't i let's get it signed and call it a day. So, a little rocky path painted in Rebel with pastels. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't forget everybody. Stay safe, stay sane and keep painting.